All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Last time, we finally made it here to the travel agency. And uh, if we talk to all of these people around here, there's some random things that we can get. Uh, let's talk to... This might Lulu. be the last time we can rest like this. I've heard that the proprietor, Mr. Rin, is in our bed. But I was very relieved to find that he keeps nothing sacrilegious here. Thankful for that too. And uh, there's not really much we can do. Whoa. Check it out. I actually that forgot that the scene was, was here. different from the one I it's... saw in Kilika. It was quiet, almost gentle. What you up to? <laughs> Pretty. Sure is. Oh, I shit. wish I could <laughs> live in a place. Shit, sorry about like that, this. guys. I just accidentally knocked over my uh, my pop filter. Living with a smile on my face every day. You can, once you beat Sin, right? <laughs> but then, a new Sin will be born anyway. Well, then you can just beat it again. I wish I could. Hey, you can. Trust me. You are the best summoner out there. Yuna, why does Sin always come back? Sin is our punishment for our vanity. And it will not go away until we've atoned. How do we do that? What did we do that was so bad in the first place? Ah. Was it using lots of machina or something? Oh. Wait. Was that such a bad thing, really? Uh, it's funny. Hmm? Ever since I was young, I never questioned it. But now that you ask me if it is that bad or not, I don't know. There are so many things I don't know. Well, then we're the same. Oh, such thinking is very unbecoming of a summoner. Sound like Micah? <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice, you know. <laughs> you know, during a game, you have to think of Blitz and nothing else, you know? Okay. Mmm. Ah. Oh. You can't think, that's a cute girl in the fifth seat from the right. And you can't be thinking about where you're gonna go on that date. Because the minute you do, that's when you lose. You see, uh, Yuna, what I mean is, you really shouldn't worry, you know? After we beat Sin, that's when you can worry about the future. I guess. But Yuna, how are you supposed to beat something big like that? The final summoning. It's the only way to defeat Sin. The only way. With it, we can call the final Aeon. That's the goal of the pilgrimage. The faith of the final summoning lies waiting in the far north to greet summoners that complete their pilgrimage. At the world's edge in Xanarkand. In Xanarkand? <laughs> she means the ruins of a city destroyed a thousand years ago.
You sure it's ruins? That's what I've heard. You'll see it for yourself soon enough. Yuna, come back inside. You will go with us to Xanarkand? I'll go to Xanarkin to see it with my own eyes. I knew it couldn't be my Xanarkin, but I had to make sure. And here we are. Now, if we talk to this man, we get a level one key spear, which we already know how to use it. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out the sphere grid. We can move Lulu this way. I don't think we have any more ability spheres. I mean, we don't, but that's okay. We can at least go over to Kamari and at least use this thing. Even though we can't get the abilities that are sitting here, the least that we can do is just move him here. Now, there's actually several things that we can do here, and we're actually about to run into another boss. Um, called the Chocobo Eater, which is not a particularly hard boss, but it is another boss. It's weak to fire, and it casts Blizzard on us. Um, actually, I wonder if we have any fire weapons we can buy. Let's see. Strength plus three, magic, strength, magic. Piercing and strength, that's not too bad, but I already have this other one that's better. Piercing Strength plus 3, that's actually pretty alright. Mm, don't really care about the magic defense. It's okay, though. Um, do we care about any of this other stuff? You know, I'll go through this on my own time at some point, and I'll sell some of this extra stuff. That's a really, really good sphere. Jeez. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll, I'll do it later off camera. Bintosar. Sorry? Ah, uh, forgive me, sir. I meant to say pardon me, but it came out in Albed. Oh, you're in Albed. Mm-hmm. I am Rin, owner of this establishment. Hello to Sadwi. Huh? It means nice to meet you. Ah, well, uh... Helly do sad weed to you too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you are interested, L bed primers can be found all over Spear. Finding them and learning our language might be fun. Here, let me give you one in commemoration of our meeting. Although you might want to be careful where you speak our language. And we have volume eight. Yeah, I hear I'll bet aren't liked much. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. <gasps> a decky cruiser. I think he was saying it is a shame. Someone help! The Chocobos! That's our cue. Let's go. Huh? Oh, thank you for your help. Please, use this. And we obtained a mega potion. Huh? Now, in case you guys were ever wondering, if we go over to the key items tab here, we can actually see how many Albed Primers we've got. So we have all the way from Albed Primer 1 all the way to Albed Primer 8. So we have not missed a single one yet, which is good. Now this boss fight actually has the capability to be um, 
a little tough, like I was saying earlier, if you're not adequately prepared for it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep everybody actively involved. Um, some tips uh, is to go ahead and use null, uh, null freeze, I think is what it's called, if we even have that with Yuna. No frost, there we go. And yes, we do have that. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the characters that I think I'm gonna use the least and put them in first. So that's gonna be um, probably Unicamari and Titus are probably my three that I'm gonna use the least, honestly. So we're gonna use them first and then we'll get them out, get my main party in. To the Chocobo Corral. And then we will just try to kill this guy. If we knock him off the opposite edge, we actually get, I think, an extra item. So let's just, uh, we'll use extract speed, but I don't really care, I mean, why not, I guess. And we'll just rest, ow, and we'll also rest again, and okay, now let's get Waka in here, so we can use a dark attack, and then we will bring Orin in, so we can use a power break. Finally, we'll go ahead and bring Lulu in here, and with Lulu, we will use a fire on him. Attack now! Push it back! Alright, so... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and attack. Hmm. Well, that could have been worse. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring Tidus back in, and I'm going to actually have him use Haste on Oren. Okay. Perfect. This is going well. This is going pretty well. Alright. Let's go ahead and get Waka back in here so we can use Dark Attack one more time. Good. Hmm, yeah, that hurt. Um, let's go ahead and attack. He's got plenty of HP, so we still have time to go ahead and push the push him back, which is what we're trying to do. Ooh, good critical there. Um, we'll use Fyra on him one more time. Let's go ahead and use Dark Attack one more time. There we go. Ooh, look at that, we even knocked him down. Oh man, we might knock him off. I'm going to be really happy if we do that, because it's been a long time since I've done that. Ooh, it's going to be really close. It's going to be really close if we can. Mm, it's not going to happen. If it didn't happen then, I don't think it's going to happen now. Hey, there we go. 319, eh, it's okay. I don't know, we might be able to knock him back if we get really, really lucky. I mean, we're gonna have to get really lucky and hope that we're able to get him. Mmm, it's just not gonna happen, I don't think. Mmm, 
dang critical attack. So here's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to bring Yuna in, and I'm going to finish this off with a summon. That way we can at least try to get the most damage and the most AP out of him that we can get. This has been a long day of recording. This was four episodes so far today, which is a little bit nuts. I haven't recorded this much in a long time. Alright, here we go. This will definitely overkill him, so this will get us a pretty good amount of experience, which is really good. We need that kind of experience. Ooh. Good lord. Yeah, look at that. Pretty much everybody got a, uh, a level up there. Have you an interest in renting some chocobos? As a token of our gratitude, the first time is free of charge. Please, ask the attendant if you wish to rent. Thank you so much for saving the chocobos. All right, and this is just about as good a time as any to go ahead and call this episode quits. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.